Okay, next let's head over to the email marketing templates. These are the different templates that you have access to and you can make changes if you like. So this is the name of the template. What you wanna do is make changes over here if you like. So under email subject for custom email, you can see that high name. And when you see these curly brackets, the double curly brackets, that's gonna pull in the data from contacts and leads. So this name code here is going to pull in the code from first name over here. And that's gonna make your emails personalized. Okay, so let's head back to email templates. Again, you can see company name in curly brackets, and that's gonna pull in the data from company name. Let's head back to email templates and click on the body. Again, you can see hey, and then curly brackets name. I'm gonna call you at phone number, and that's gonna pull in the phone number from your contacts and leads at 10 p.m. today, talk soon. Also, I like what, and that's gonna pull in the company name has created. Now remember, if there's any other information that you want to pull from contacts and leads, you can simply do that by heading back over to settings and then locate email marketing settings, come down to code and simply add your own code. For example, we click on the drop down. maybe we want to pull in type, source, uh, media and files, priority, sales status, value, or maybe the sales task. We can do that and then we can create our own code by simply adding double curly brackets and then the code that we want to add. Again, let's navigate back over to email templates and you can see over here we have a payment reminder email template. If we come here, we've got gentle payment reminder for the email subject, I'm happy with that. Then over here we have the body. If we double click, we can make changes if we like. At the moment, it's generating the first name as well as the company name from our data in contacts and leads. So let's go ahead and send a bulk email. I'm going to navigate over to contacts and leads and let's navigate over to the far right hand side. And you can see that we have four emails that have been sent, but they haven't been paid yet. So what I can do is navigate up to filter and then click on this filter here and then untick blank and then click on okay. So these are all the invoices I've sent. Then I'm going to click on filter here and then come down and unclick paid and then click okay. And as you can see, these are the four contacts if we navigate across that haven't paid the invoice. The invoice has been sent, but they haven't paid the invoice yet. So I want to send an email reminder. To do that, all I need to do is navigate over to this email marketing column and manually select the contacts that I want to send an email campaign to. For example, I can manually select here, or what I can do is I can simply highlight this entire column and click on the spacebar, and that's gonna select all four of these contacts. And that's gonna allow me to send four email campaigns to each of these emails. Now, because this is just an example, I'm gonna navigate over here and unselect because this is just an example email. And then I'm going to navigate up to Sheetify, then email marketing, and these are all the different template options that I can send. I can send a custom email, that you've decided to quickly create based on a specific reason, event, or for example, a new product or service release, or you can select from these pre-made email templates. For us, we want to send a payment reminder. So go ahead and click on send payment reminder. Then you'll get this email reminder from Sheetify to confirm that you want to send a payment reminder email. Simply come down and click on yes. And as you can see, every time an email is sent, the box will be unticked. And just like that, you've sent three payment reminder emails. And it's as simple as that to engage in email marketing activities inside Sheetify. And this is an example of what that email will look like in your recipient's inbox. You can see that it's pulled in your email signature, as well as the name that you added within settings, as well as personalized details like the first name and the company name. Okay, so let's turn off this filter. Now it's best to navigate up to Sheetify and then email marketing and send a preview email first before you engage in email marketing and send bulk emails to your audience. 